Another great car new into stock, and this Suzu D-Max 2.5 TD Blade double cap pickup. It's uh, 2,499cc, it's a 2,055 on a 65 plate, has done 43,697 miles and has one registered owner. I've no fuel economy figures for this uh, car, there's none on Autotrader and there's, there's none being brought up on our website. Uh, so I can't help with that. However, the road tax is £159.50 for six months and £290 for 12. The finance package on our website also, the deposit £4,798.50 followed by 60 payments of £310.27. The deposit is made up of £1,599.50 towards the car and £3,199 VAT which if you've that registered you'd claim back on your first quarter so the the deposit isn't as bad as it sounds if you timed it right especially i'll just show you around it's got uh, one or two extras on really nice spec has this uh, plastic um, bonnet protector on the front stroke spoiler it has multi-spoke dark silver alloy wheels power folding door mirrors it's got the aluminium side steps roof bars on the top of the double cab and also roof bars on the truckman top. The loading area is split, you can just lift the glass up if you're just chucking things in the back, if not then this, this has got quite a handy addition, it's got a hydraulic ram on there so it, load, it comes down slowly, they do weigh quite a lot. It's um, it's lined in hard plastic, it's not all scuffed up, it's not been used commercially, it's really nice inside. Now, I said it was a truckman top before, that's a generic term really, probably for the, the most well-known tops. I can't actually see whose make it is, whether it's a Suzu or a truckman or somebody else, but uh, th this top will come off. Thanks for that. Now then, it does come down with the help of a hydraulic ram. It could do with going up with the, the aid of a hydraulic ram as well. They weigh a ton these bikes. Plenty of room in the back. The seats are, are like brand new. <laughs> I, I must get a new phrase. It's really nice in the back anyway. That's. Uh, that's the point I'm trying to make. Rear central armrest here. We have got three inertia belts in this one. The, the pickup I did the other day only had two inertia belts and a lap strap, but this has got the third one across the, the middle. So really nice. Um, D-Max embossed headrest there. We've also got uh, the contrast stitching here. It's, uh, it, it is, it's a really nice example. With the vehicle being high off the ground, it's easy to get in and out of, and uh, I'll just take you a ride in it. Remote keys, we've got uh, two of them there, an extra spare, and then these are for the uh, hard top at the back, so everything's with the vehicle. Really, really nice example. And let me just see if we've got the service book in here. Service and maintenance book. So, first service was done on the 19th of the 10th, 2016, at 12,297 miles by his Brown Suzu. And then the next one was done on the 24th of the 8th, 2017, at 24895. That's Gregson Lane Garage Horton. We take all our van MOTs to them, and, and I've, I've known them at uh, Gregson Lane Garage for a long, long time, uh, and even the original owner. Um, then it was done on 22nd of the 6th, 2018, at 35420, again by Gregson Lane Garage. And the car, the commercial vehicle, whatever you want to call it, has done 43,700 miles now. So uh, we, we'd probably service it before it goes out as well. So proper service history and uh, 
I've a bit of a history with the Suzu's. We, uh, in my younger days, we were Vauxhall Opal dealers, and Isuzu, a lot of the Vauxhalls used some Isuzu parts and Isuzu engines, uh, and some of the, the vehicles later on were actually Isuzu vehicles, like the uh, Monterey and the Frontera. And uh, before that happened, we decided we wanted to buy a four-wheel drive at the garage I worked at. And uh, I went to our local, uh, our local dealer uh, to get a brochure and to get some information. And I was probably dressed then as I am now and I have always been with jeans and a shirt. And the guy looked at me through his window. He was on the phone. He looked at me through the window and then, then he turned away. And then he proceeded to ignore me for, well, t till I left probably 20 minutes later. Um, we, we then made a couple of phone calls and we got uh, a friendly dealer in Ireland who sent us one over and 12 months later we'd sold more Isuzu's than the, the local dealer which is hardly surprising if he treated everybody the way he treated me um, and Isuzu came and offered us the, the franchise uh, however <laughs> One of the prerequisites of having the Isuzu franchise was you, you had Subaru at the time and, and Subaru had a range of vehicles that were just, at the time, they were shocking. However, we, we refused the agency and just carried on importing them, but uh, then Subarus brought out a great range of vehicles, so we, we were sorry after that. Anyway, I'll take you for a ride, but I, 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 I can also tell you another couple of stories. how good Isuzu's are. One of our customers, um, I, I overtook a, a scrap lorry, full to the top of scrap being towed, and that was being towed by an Isuzu Trooper at the front of it, which we'd sold, and it was a short wheelbase Isuzu t Trooper 2.8 TD, and they would, he was towing a scrap lorry, absolutely full of scrap. And another one, we bought, uh, quickly before I take you for a drive, we bought, we couldn't get enough vehicles to, to sell. They, they were rare and they were great sellers. Um, so we kept in touch with International Motors, the, the Isuzu importer, and we got friendly with a chap and kept ringing and he, he kept offering us all, yeah, we've got all these Subarus here that you, we didn't want them. And then he said, oh, I've got a Trooper. So we, we jumped in a car, shot off down there, it, it was hardly an inspiring thing. It was it was kind of a camouflage green colour, but and it was filthy. It really was dirty. But we uh, we bought it, drove it back to the garage, and put it on the ramp when we got back. And underneath, it was on the way on the way home. I could hear all this rattling. And underneath, uh, when we got it back, I got it on the ramp, and, and there was there was stones and shale in the. Um, heat shields around the exhaust and, and underneath and also the, the brake pipes were flattened which we had to replace and we, we couldn't quite understand it but the chap at um, International Motors gave us a book about Isuzu's and on the front of this book was this car and he said here this will help you sell it. it it's been you know it's been our demo vehicle it's on a on the cover of a book so anyway <laughs> I don't know, a, a few weeks later it was actually Christmas and I was just sat down having my uh, Christmas lunch when my boss phoned up and he said switch ITV on now and I switched it on and lo and behold on ITV the, there was a thing called I don't know, ce Celebrity Challenge or something and Emerson Fittipaldi I think the, the driver was and Mike Smith the, the radio DG DJ sorry was driving round a track in the Isuzu Trooper that we bought and another Isuzu Trooper and they were they were going over jumps they were, they were they were catching air as they were going over and right in the middle as they took off in this jump both of them crashed together uh, however it had been repaired and the guy who eventually bought it had it for years and years and had no trouble whatsoever but it just goes to show you the punishment Isuzu's can take and, and here and now I can honestly swear by them so I'll just take you for after all those all our yesterdays I'll take you for a ride I drove it 
here to photograph it's the first time I've driven it we've uh, we seem to have got a few pickups in lately and I would say that this drives very very nicely first impressions I think the tracking's out slightly which will do it could be that or a um, low tire pressure but uh, the steering wheel's just slightly off center so it usually points to tracking which we will get done as I say it's a good specification it's a nice vehicle you could use this as a, a car during well a car at weekends and a, a work vehicle during the week good electric windows here let's see so sorry we've got a central door lock in there that's what we've got there with that switch I've only been in this job for 48 years you, you know I'm still learning so that's uh, tinted windows it has got the hard top on the back dear little uh, little old lady in a 19 plate micro struggling to get across this awful roundabout don't help with people like him not signaling god Bennett here we go oh dear me that micro's a nice though I've got to say she's got herself a good little car there So I'm not sure whether this is standard, but it's a it's a pioneer um, audio system, for want of a, a better word. We've, I'm not sure whether it's actually got CD. I would have thought eject would have lifted. Ah, oh, that's it. Going to keep your finger on longer. So has it got a CD? Yeah, it's got CD. It's got looks what looks like an SD card there. To be fair, I never use the CD or the SD cards anyway, so um, Bluetooth hands-free and also the Bluetooth audio streaming is uh, fine for me. It's uh, got automatic air, air con there, it's the air con switch, the fan. We've got a heated seat, the switch is just at the back here on the, uh, the seat rest. Power folding door mirrors. multi-spoke alloy wheels that's spoiler stroke um, bonnet protector at the front there probably more a fashion accessory really we've got the aluminium side steps here's the four-wheel drive controls we've got cup holders oh nice motorbike there goodness mate if she'd have pulled off then he'd have been dead well knocked off his bike anyway so also down here on the right is the electric door mirror switch electric adjustment so that one works knock it over there Yep, that one works too. Got a shift lock switch there. You can knock the gear lever over. Change up and down, that's down and that's up. Fifth there. Knock it back over. Volume controls and phone controls here. mode switch cruise control here on off so anyway it's vehicles just as it's come in it's nice and tidy not been through our workshop yet hence the steering wheel at a slight angle that's uh, obviously something that the previous owner could put up with but I'm afraid <laughs> it's it's already driven me around the twist and uh, Oh, I, honestly, I don't, I don't know how people do it. I really don't. Let's see the wipers. 
Yeah, wipers are good anyway. We can see where we're going. We could be here for a while. No, unfortunately, it's old, old van. <laughs> you can hardly set off. Just see what it's like at 70. But ni nice big load area, which is obviously what you'd be buying this vehicle for. And even if it's only a private car, absolutely fantastic for hobbies, chucking your mountain bike in, all your fishing gear, and uh, can get you to places where you wouldn't normally get to in a normal car. So if I just get to 70 there, I'll have to knock that off, otherwise I'll get a copyright strike. So 70 miles an hour, 2,000 revs, set the cruise control, will that set it? No, it won't. So we'll just knock it down, switch on, knock down and then use the button to accelerate to 70. There we go, 70 at 2,000 revs. Cruise control's operating fine. It's, it's quiet enough. A um, little bit of noise off the uh, wind noise off the roof bars, but it's very, very windy today to start off with in, in the UK. So, uh, I would imagine we'd be getting wind noise anyway. We'll just get past this tanker. The instrument panel there, red counter on the left, information display in the center, and then speedo on the right. Let's just see where we go. Yeah, the, the button on the end of the wiper stalk. That's uh, changing your information display. Not sure what that is at the end of there. I think it might be the instrument All right, yeah, you see the lights on the instrument panel. A strange place to put something there. So two cup holders here, a, a cup holder in the doors, which will hold a very large cup or a small flask. We've got two glove boxes there, one at the bottom and uh, useful grab handles for getting in. It is nice and high, nice seating position. Just, uh, just looking for the outside air temperature. It's, it's absolutely freezing outside today. And although we're uh, in April now, we had a uh, flash snowstorm on the M55 just up the road there the other day, and I think there was a it caused a pileup. Nobody was expecting it; just drove straight into it and caused a, a 35 car pileup. So the uh, the weather around here is still a bit um, unpredictable. Here we go again. A little chicane we've got here. That's my camera stuff falling over in the back. The seats, the seats are nice and comfortable though, real good driving position. As you can see, you can see where you can see up the hedges, you can see everything coming. Um, even if when the steering wheel's straight, you can see 
over the top of it. You see the indicators and the, the wipers, which is a huge criticism I have of uh, lots of cars these days where they put them directly behind the quarter to three position. And uh, also from, from memory, Isuzu is the uh, oldest vehicle manufacturer in Japan. So before the likes of uh, Toyota and so on, they were making Isuzu's. So if they haven't got them right by them now, there's no excuse. show you how to pay your mobile to this Pioneer unit and also uh, stream audio through it or play music from your phone and it should be fun because I've never used one before like I say we can see over the hedges here you see what's coming down the road here. These bends on this road are really treacherous. And, uh, but you can see what's coming, or you can see the roofs of what's coming from one of these, instead of just meeting them head on as a shot. Sure. 